enough is enough. Fearless, robust and just shocks everyone. Tells Nigerian youth to six power now. Sees explosive warning that God's Nigerians talking. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The former Nigerian president, Olusegun Gubobarsenjo, has challenged the young generation to take charge of the country's governance and politics, warning that they may never get another chance if they fail to act now. He made this call on Thursday in Abuja, where he was a guest speaker at the Emerging Political Leaders Fellowship Program organized by the Bridge Foundation. Obasanjo, who ruled Nigeria as a military head of state from 1976 to 1979 and as a civilian president from 1999 to 2007, said the youth have to be positively disruptive to dislodge the older generation from power. He urged them not to accept the, the status quo and to make those who are comfortable with it uncomfortable. You are the leaders of today. The opportunity you hesitate to seize now may elude you forever. Embrace positive disruption. Challenge the status quo. It is imperative to make those who resist change or comfortable, he said. He also advised the youth not to lose sight of their political aspirations and to work hard to achieve them. He said Nigeria could witness a dramatic transformation in two years if the right person are in charge of governance. Nigeria's transformation is within reach achievable in a mere two years with the right individuals occupying the key positions. Reject the notion that you are too young or inexperienced. Your vigor, creativity, innovation, and passion equip you to effect significant change, he said. Obasanjo also paid tribute to the generation that fought for Nigerians' independence from Britain in 1960, saying they sacrificed a lot for the country. He said Nigerians should learn from their history and work together to ensure common security and share prosperity. We should be grateful to those who fought for our independence. Their actions were for, out for our benefit, not personal gain. Let our history be a guide. Avoid the errors of the past. Unify as Nigerians, collaborating for the collective prosperity of our nation, he said. The Emerging Political Leaders Fellowship is a non-partisan initiative that aims to equip young Nigerians with the knowledge, with the skills and networks they need to run for and win political offices. So guys, President, the former president of Nigeria, Chief Obasanjo, Olishego Obasanjo, he have not ceased talking. Even when he talked, they abuse him, they say so many things and all that. He had never ceased talking. You know, talking about the 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 situation Nigeria or Nigerians have found themselves today, which is really very troubling. You understand? It's really very, very troubling. You know, when people say, Hey, girl, don't know they talk. When you were there, what did you do? He was there. Okay. If he did not do anything then, but now he has realized that he made a mistake, what he would have done, he did not do it. Is it wrong for him to correct it by saying, No, this is not how to go about things? This is how things we build. The way Nigeria is going and the way Nigerians are going right now, this country, it will take it, in fact, decades to recover. 
you didn't see things they happen before you in no matter. Eh? When that person did there, you no enjoy. I love this person make you go enjoy. Like someone said something one day, you know, in this uh, in, in in this my platform. The person said, Why should anybody be complaining about uh, Muhammad uh, uh, President Bola Metinobus health? That that was when uh, during the campaign or the crisis, you know, that was surrounding everything. The person said, Nobody have the right to com complain about uh, Tinubu's health condition. After all, Buari was there. Was he not sick? Did he not rule Nigeria for eight years? So what stops Tinubu from ruling Nigeria for eight years, even if he's sick? Sickness did not deprive Tinubu, uh, Buhari to rule or his age. So, even if Buhari did not get it right, let Tinubu go. If he didn't still get it right, another person will go and try. Are you making sense? Are you actually making sense? So, Nigeria now don't turn to where then they do ping pong, ping pong. You understand? And that one don't go. Make this one go. Just go. Collect your own commodes. Do you know what you are doing? The effects, the consequences. Do you know that? You can't even compare Buhari's regime to Jonathan now or Basenjo. We are not saying they are sent. You understand? Because our problems are, are being our leaders. The past leaders and the present leaders. Not them. Not them kill this country. But if we see the truth, make with the token. You understand? If we see the truth, let's just say it. All is not well with this country. This one not be joke. <laughs> this anybody when we say all is well with Nigeria, just they play. Well, I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you're just joining us, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for stopping by.